there I've got another video of processing but I'm gonna be heading out to, to do some karaoke here in just a few minutes so I just wanted to make this video really really quick and cheap uh, cheaply made uh, low quality so I can upload it quickly um, I just saw a Tom Hartman video talking about racism and there was a caller that uh, basically pushes forth that concept that black people can't be racist and the thing is they're using this new definition of racism the one that's not in the dictionaries, the one that's not the colloquial definition, it's the new definition of racism, which means prejudice plus power. And there was someone I was getting into an argument with on, about it, and I'm saying, you know, this, this, this new definition is stupid. You know, if, if it's prejudice plus power, and it doesn't actually have anything directly to do with race, then why have the word race in there? Race is the root of the word. If it doesn't have to do with race, then say something else. Say powerism or something like that. And the person I was having the argument with, she's saying, well, you're having a problem with, with the English language being messed up now? It's always been a difficult language to learn. I said, yeah, but it, it's, it's difficult to learn because of shit like this. This kind of shit is the reason why it, it's hard to learn. I mean, with this current, this new definition, this is why people can, t can say to others, oh, well, if you have a problem with the cultures in the Middle East, you are racist. Yes, I'm racist because I'm against women being uh, uh, killed and, and stoned to death and, and, and I'm, I'm for, for stupid reasons, and I'm racist for thinking that women should be able to drive, and I'm racist for thinking that women should be able to leave the house, and I'm racist for believing in women's rights in the Middle East. I'm racist for that. Yes, I'm racist for that. Yes, it has to do with race. No, no, it's prejudice plus power. They don't have much power, so if you say something against them and you have power, then you're racist. Yeah, fuck that definition. Fuck that definition. It destroys words. Why have why choose a word that that has already had a, a strong meaning throughout all of the past? You know, and if if you combine the two meanings together, the the, the colloquial and def dictionary definitions of the word and the new definition, then that gives heed to the white supremacists who say that anti-racist is a code word for anti-white. Now that's not, that's not really correct, but if you morph the two, the two definitions together, that's what you get. So why choose that? I, I kind of think it was done on purpose. And it's really funny is, you know, people get called anti-intellectual for not adopting this new version, uh, uh, new vision of the word. For saying that, hey, uh, the root of the word is race, uh, so it should have to do with race. You know, for people wanting words to actually make sense, uh, that's anti-intellectual. Yeah, right. Anyway. I'm off to have a good time. I'm hoping this place that I'm going to be going will be decent, so...